So Brett Favre's a New York Jet, right? Forget about it. I couldn't believe it. And then this guy, Matt Castle, started for Tom Brady. He hasn't started since he took algebra in, like, the eighth grade, right? So it's going to be awesome. Well, not so much for the Jets. As Matt Castle comes out calm, cool, and collected and finding Wes Welker a lot. That's right. Safe passes. Get the ball in the hands of your playmakers. Right, Coach? That's right. He's only going to get it to Randy Moss a couple times, but Wes Welker, who had 112 last year, is going to be busy. Castle 4-5 for 61 yards on the drive led to a field goal at 6-0 New England in the second quarter when Favre makes a nice play to Lavernius Coles. 54-yard pass play down to the Patriots' 25-yard line in the building that had already been quieted by the Patriots' quality start. And a miss by Jay Feely on a field goal earlier is now alive. Leon Washington making some nice moves to take it inside the five-yard line. But three plays later, the Jets can't knock it in. Three runs in a row, and it's a goal line stand. Richard Seymour came up big down there on the goal line. Forces the field goal at 6-3 in the third quarter now. Favre, his first pick as a Jet. Yep, Brandon Merriweather picks it off, and usually you make those mistakes against the Patriots, they will make you pay no matter who's at the controls. And Matt Castle didn't make any mistakes in the day. I mean, he may have missed a read, he may have missed a handoff here and there, but he didn't turn it over. Get the ball in the hands of your playmakers, and like, that's one of them. Like Kevin Falk, 22 yards down to the Jets' eight, and then three plays later on third and goal, it's Sammy Morris over the top. Jets can't get it in the end zone. The Patriots can, and these are the differences that uh, that get that make the I guess the difference for the lack of a better phrase. It's 16-3 in the fourth quarter. Favre to Dustin Keller, rookie tight end, making a play down to the 20-yard line, and then three plays later on second and goal. Far from the shotgun finds Chancey Stuckey. I like this play. This yeah, play's big been play. You definitely well, like uh, Let's you... take a look and see if it is. Let's take a look at this because I like the play. You got Chancey Stuckey on the inside in the slot. Man to man against Rodney Harrison. That's a receiver on a safety. Lavernius Coles on the outside. Dion, this is not a pick play, all right? He's just going to casually go down inside there <laughs> and get in the way. And Rodney Harrison realizes this. He's going to win an Oscar. I'm going to fall down because I got picked. Uh-uh. Chancey Stuckey. Touchdown is second of the year. Call it what you want to. That's a pick play. So <laughs> while Patriots ensuing drive, Randy Moss casually gets in the way of the ball. Can't stop him all game long. They played cover two on him the entirety of the game. And then on third and two, a crucial play. Castle facing the pressure. Gets it away to Sammy Moss. Tossing 15 more for roughing the passer. As Castle hung in there, moved the sticks, took the hit. That's all you can ask for from your quarterback. He is rightfully fired up. And the Patriots get a field goal, a crucial field goal, because it makes it a two-possession game. And then Adelius Thomas takes down two Jets you at the same a, time. 180 pound back block a 270-pound man. Unk. Unk now. Last chance for the Jets, essentially, is broken up by Ellis Hobbs, the Jets and Favre go down to the New England Patriots. No Brady, no big whoop. It's the same old, same old for the New England Patriots. They're not scoring as many points, but they're keeping their points off the board from their opponents, and they are 2-0. The Jets are 1-1.